everyone, I'm Hannah. I'm one of your speech therapists here at Boundless. Our team wanted to put together some resources for you guys while you're at home, and we thought a great way to do that would be to introduce some core words of the week. So each week, while school is out of session, we're gonna make a video for you guys introducing a pair of words that go together that you can use in all kinds of situations. We're gonna go over how to find the words on your child's device and some ways that you can incorporate those words into fun everyday activities that you guys do. So, our first words are more and all done. These locations and icons are if your kid has LAMP, words for life. So that will be either on an iPad or on an accent device with the big rubber case around it. Our first word, like I said, is more. And this is what the icon is gonna look like. We're gonna go over how to find it in just a second. More is our first word and all done is our second word. So. Now we're going to go over how to locate the words and then I'll show you guys some great ways to incorporate them into what you're doing. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to go over how to find the word. So we are first going to come here to lamp. Now if your kid has either the accent device, which might have like a big rubbery case on it, or if they have the iPad, the buttons are going to be in the same place if they have lamp. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here for more. It's located right here, it's the two hands making the more sign with the music notes. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. And then right above where we just pushed is more with the hand signs for more. more. So that's where we have it located, over here off to the right. More. More. The next one we're gonna do is we are gonna find all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear my screen in this bottom corner here. All done is located under please, which is the fireworks. It's in the second row under yes, right here. Please, and then we're gonna come all the way over to the side, and we're gonna find all done. It's the hands making the sign language signal again, with the hands that are flipping out for all done. All done. So to go over that again, we go to please with the fireworks, and then we come down here to all done. All done. Now that we've found those words on our device, let's go over some different things that you can do to incorporate these words into what you're doing every day. The first activity that you can use is meal time or snack time. So a great thing to do would be to either give your kid just an empty plate to start or only give them a little bit of their snack and then have them be asking for more snack. You know. You can have them just use the word more, you can have them say more and tell you the food, or you can just be pressing the more button yourself and while you're giving your kid more snacks. You can say, oh, here's some more goldfish. And then once the plate is empty, you or your kid can use the device to say, all done. The next thing is playing with some toys. So blocks are a great thing to do. Anything that you can give them like a little bit of and have them be asking for more So if you've got some blocks and they're playing with the blocks and stacking Maybe you guys are going over colors or um, they're just kind of playing on their own They've made their tower, but they want it to be taller So you have them ask for more blocks and then give them just a few So that they can keep on building and have them keep asking for more until you've given them all of the toys and then you can or your child can say all done with blocks, it's time to clean up. Another one of my favorites personally is bubbles. I love doing bubbles. There's so many things that you can do with them. They're really fun and engaging. So I always start by blowing just a few. You know, some of my friends love to pop them or just watch them fall, but then wait. Don't blow any until your kid asks you for more and then go ahead. You can just do you know, one blow of bubbles at a time. You could do two or three, that's kind of up to you, but make sure that you're you know, having your kid request for more or that you're going on their device yourself and saying, here's more bubbles, and then blowing the bubbles for them. The last thing that we're gonna go over as an idea is iPad. I know watching videos on an iPad is something I like to do in my free time. I know that it's something that a lot of um, our kids like to do. So this is a great way to be incorporating their device and encouraging use of those words. This is one of my favorite videos to use 
with the kids in our session. It's called the animal dance. So if they're watching their video and it's going, a great thing that you can do is they're watching the video, stop the video and have them ask for more. And then when they tell you more, or you could say, let's watch more video and hit the button yourself. Go ahead and hit play for them again and let it keep going. Another great way that you can use more and all done is, you know, if you want, if they're watching a, a whole video and they watch the video to the end, but they need your help to pick a new video, you could have them tell you they want more iPad. And then after they've told you that, you can pick a new video for them. Or you could say, that video is all done. Let's pick another one. Or, you know, we're all done with the iPad for now. Or if they're watching a video, they could tell you they're all done with that video and ready for a new one. So those are just a few ways that you can be using more and all done and the things that you guys do every day while you're at home. Um, these are ways that we use it um, at school. And so I wanted to just kind of share that with you guys, things you can be practicing at home. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your speech therapist. Um, if your kid doesn't have LAMP and you need help locating where the more and the all done buttons are, once again, feel free to reach out. Um, or if you have your own ideas, please shoot us a message. We'd love to hear what you guys have been up to while you're home. So thanks for watching and join us next week for another core word of the week. Bye.